really tough fire conditions across southern Utah where we have red flag warnings in effect right now through tomorrow at 10 p.m. Then come Thursday day through Thursday night, we have fire weather watches already issued for Thursday and for northern Utah tonight, a storm threat for some potentially dry thunderstorms or some isolated thunderstorms that could end up with some gusty conditions. So what we're tracking for you tonight here across Utah, hottest temperatures of the year so far. We have a front moving through northern Utah this evening. It'll stall in central Utah. Out of this, the biggest threat will be microburst winds. So we've got that potential for some very strong winds. Come tomorrow, we have a lot of clouds, but our UV index is still very high for tomorrow. So make sure you're wearing a hat when you're heading out to head, head for a walk. Enjoy the nice temperatures tomorrow. Right now here in Salt Lake City, a really comfortable night. We're going to have temperatures close to 80 through 8 p.m. So if you haven't turned on your air conditioner yet and you're hoping to open the windows to help cool the house down before bed, you're not going to start getting cool into the 60s until about midnight tonight. So we're going to have a pretty mild evening satellite and radar right now as we go ahead and zoom in to northern Utah. We are tracking a few thunderstorms, mainly west of I-84 today and up towards the Cache Valley. So far, we've had no severe thunderstorm warnings. If any of those do get issued, of course, I'll let you know. But what we're tracking for you tonight is going to be just some isolated storms that could produce some damage. So if any of those severe thunderstorm warnings get issued because of microburst winds, I will let you know. But right now, we're just tracking mostly cloudy sky for the majority of you. Salt Lake tonight, 59 Ogden, 59 Provo, low 50s. Overnight temps across the board, many of us in the 50s and 60s when you wake up tomorrow morning. St. George, you're going to have temperatures still in the 90s tomorrow, but 70s for the Wasatch Front, Salt Lake, Ogden, and Provo tomorrow. For Cedar City and Richfield, 80s. St. George 95, Eastern Utah hot for Moab in the 90s, Price 80, Vernal 78 degrees tomorrow. So our temperatures for St. George will be cooling down by Friday at 81 degrees, but through the rest of the week, you're in the mid 90s through Thursday. Wind picks back up on Thursday. That's why we have the fire concerns. Salt Lake, we cool down tomorrow into the 70s. We warm up on Thursday, cool down again on Thursday into the low 70s. By Friday, high of only 60 with the stronger cold front that moves through Thursday into Friday, and then we have some comfortable weekend temperatures ahead in the 60s and 70s.